Hello everyone, I am Sagar Banushali and I am going to talk about the prokaryotic type of cells. This prokaryotic type of organisms are the ancient type of organism. This mainly consists of bacteria and archaeas. The major proportion of this organisms consists mainly of bacteria. These bacteria, when compared with eukaryotic type of organisms, are mainly simple and small type of unicellular organisms. These bacteria are simple and unicellular type of organisms. One might think that they almost have the same type of structure, similar structure, or, or they are similar in morphology. But uh, the, different, the major difference is in genetics and ecology of these organisms. On the basis, if I say, if I want to characterize or if I want to differentiate between bacteria, I can simply go with the size, shape and arrangement of the organism. The size of the organism, if I talk about the size of the organism, this or the size, the range is mainly of 0.2 to 2 micrometer in length. Also, there are certain uh, genus. Uh, also, there are certain organisms from genus Mycoplasm, which are Mycoplasma, which are much smaller than this range. But there are some scientists suggested that there are also present. There is also presence of nanobacteria or ultra microbacteria. This ultra microbacteria, nanobacteria, are much smaller than the uh, genus Mycoplasm. But certain scientists also suggested that the nanobacteria or the concept of nanobacteria or the ultra microbacteria is just an artifact. Further, if I talk about E. coli, the size of E. coli is 1.1 to 1.5 micrometer in width. Also, the two the range of length uh, the uh, length range is from 2 to 8 micrometer. Uh, another organism if I talk is oscillatoria oscillatoria the organism uh, the range of this organism uh, is uh, 7 micrometer in diameter 7 micrometer diameter which is almost the same size of uh, an RBC while I, I had to talk about the mycoplasma the range is 0 0.3 micrometer this is almost the approximate size of the largest virus that is the pox virus okay if i say about the shape the shape are uh, generally the bacteria which are encountered are mostly cocci or the bacilli type the cocci type is a uh, circular type and the bacilli is generally rod shaped if i say about cocci This cocci are roughly spherical type of cells. This may not be may may not be only spherical. They may be oval, or they may be elongated, or they may be uh, flattened at one end. If I talk about their division, uh, I have to talk in planes so that it would be much simplified. If I talk in one plane, if if they divide in one plane suppose if i take a cell and it divides and it forms a diploid of this cell it is known as diplococcus in only one plane in only one plane it is known as diplococcus the example is neisseria neisseria further they also form a chain in one plane that is they continuously divide in only one plane the example for this is streptococcus lactococcus enterococcus they also form cluster or grape like clumps the example of this is staphylococcus staphylococcus Further, if I talk in two plane, if I talk in two plane, they form tetrads. Four organisms, they form tetrads. 
Example for this is micro focus. Micro focus. If this is this was first plane, second plane, and if I talk about the third plane, third plane, they form a cubical packet. of 8 cells this was 4 cells this is 8 cells the example is genus genus sarcaine this was of cocos in one plane if it forms diplococcus the example is neisseria it forms a chain if it forms a chain the examples are streptococcus lactococcus and enterococcus if it forms a grape like clump the example is staphylococci staphylococcus if it if i talk in two planes or two planes uh, the example is a uh, micrococcus and they form a tetrad of four cells if i talk in of third plane the example is genus sarcaina and the formation will be of eight cells it will form a uh, packet of or a cubical packet further if i go with uh, if I go for bacillus this bacillus are rod shaped bacteria there is a great there is a difference between their width and their length this leads to the formation of a rod okay further they are divided into three type of cells if the ends are circular if their ends are flat, if their ends are cigar shaped, okay, okay, this is the wrong structure. If their ends are cigar shaped, okay, further, um, there are some of the uh, this was of rod shaped. Comma shaped bacteria are called vibrio, vibrio type of cells. Further, this is a rod shape, means they are uh, not helical or twisted. Further, if they are helical or twisted, means if I say this is a rod and if I twist it like this, if I twist it. This will be the formation of a if I twist this like this. This is spirochetes or spirilla depends upon the flexibility. If it, if it is flexible, it is spirochetes. And if it's not flexible, it is spirilla. Okay, this was about the bacillus and the coca. If I talk, uh, if I, there are some organisms uh, which do not have a proper shape, uh, we can say uh, we can say they do not, they lack a permanent shape. They are called pleomorphic. They are called pleomorphic type of cells. Okay. Further arrangement, I told you about the diplococcus, staphylococcus. Uh, Micrococcus and genus Sarcaina and also the bacillus. Bacillus also form structures like a pairing or a chain, or they do not either they do not form a grape like club or the genus or the tetrad or the cubical uh, packet formations. Okay, if I further if I talk about the uh, general organelles of the prokaryotic organism, if I say if I say this is a prokaryotic cell, if I want to talk about this first one, the cell wall. The cell wall. The cell wall of a prokaryotic organism is generally made up of peptidoglycan. On the basis of the composition of the peptidoglycan, this is further divided into gram positive and gram negative. Gram positive organisms have higher composition of peptidoglycan while gram negative has lower as compared to the as compared to the gram positive type the function of the cell wall that it gives the protection to the cell 
protection to the cell and also a defined structure to the cell. Second is plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. This membrane is generally made up of phospholipids. Structure of the phospholipids might is like this. The outside is hydrophilic and this hydrophobic region. Uh, uh, one part of this is to the exterior of the cell and this is the cytosol. Third one is okay what are the functions of the plasma membrane the plasma membrane is selectively permeable it uh, it selects the component or the solvent whether it should be entered into the cell or whether it should be moved out to the cell third one is ribosomes this are essential in the protein synthesis nucleoid Nucleoid. It is localization of the DNA or the genetic material of the organism is stored in the nucleoid. Fifth one is inclusion bodies. Inclusion bodies. These are the storage points for carbon, phosphate and other components. Sixth one. Capsule. This is the substance that is secreted from the cell to the outside portion. This is uh, important in terms of pathogenicity that if a, if a capsule is present in the outer portion of the cell wall, it is it is it, sh it shows pathogenicity or uh, factors that are important or the functions of the capsule includes pathogenicity. It uh, prevents phagocytosis means the uh, phagocytosis is an event that engulfing a cell engulfing a cell pa uh, preventing path uh, phagocytosis means a capsule prevents the uh, engulfing of this prokaryotic organism by uh, mac macrophage which is a part of the immunity and third it also serves as a nutrient in some type of organisms like if there is a shortage of of nutrient or sugar the capsule is broken down the capsule is generally made up of polysaccharide or polypeptide the capsule is broken down and is utilized for the cell nucleoid inclusion bodies capsule okay fimbri Pili. This fimbria and pili are the hair-like structures which are, which are present on the surface of the cell. These are important for the adherence of the cell to the uh, to the any surface. Flagella. This is important uh, in terms of locomotion or movement of cell from one position to another. That is, it, it, if it, it is able to swim or walk into a fluid portion through this flagella, due to this flagella. Ninth one, gas vacuole. This gas, these are vacuoles that contain the gas. The function of this gas vacuoles includes, uh, this allows the cell to float into a solid suppose if I uh, put a, a, or an organism in the fluid this gas vacuoles brings the cell to the surface due to buoyant force okay so this the function of gas vacuole is to float make the cell float on the surface tenth one endospores Suppose if the cell faces a function in which, in which the favorable conditions are not available. So the cell forms an endospore condition which, uh, in which it can survive for a prolonged period of time. So this was about the prokaryotic cell. Uh, if you like my video, please like, subscribe and comment in the comment box. Thank you.